and welcome to my craft room. My name is Michelle Wells. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. Um, I hope you can um, join me today live. Um, I, um, I'll start off with, if you haven't got a um, demonstrator and you live in Australia um, and you'd like um, these two catalogues and a couple other things that will go with it, um, I will have all the details at the end of this video so you can um, leave your details and I can send mine out in the mail to you. So I can't show the inside of this one, but um, this one here I'll be um, using, I'm playing around with, I think it's called Way to Goat. So, um, but I will show you the stamp set anyway and the card that I'm going to be making. So I'll pop them back up there out of the way. So I'll just have a look, see if I can't find myself on here um, and see if anybody's watching me. So um, as you've, if you've already seen, um, you'll see that I, hi Karen, how are you? You'll see Hello that, oh, thank you. I better turn that down, that's what I did. It's always the way you have everything on um, popping on and um, it all goes wrong, so Hi Martha, how are you? Thanks for watching from Colorado. So, so anyway, I'm going to get started. Welcome to my fun fold, um, Friday. So I'm, I'm so honoured to be able to um, do a live video today. So, but this is the card that I'll be making today. Um, I'm going to make one similar to this. So this is a fun fold. So it opens. It's called a three tab fun fold. So it opens up like that. I haven't got any, anything on the inside of this one, only because I want to give my personal touch because this one's going um, to somebody. So um, so I'm going to make this one and I'm going to use, I'll pop that up there, but I'll show you how I do it as I go. But like I said, I'm going to use Way to Goat and I'm going to use um, the Forever, oh sorry, Flowers for Every Season Designer Series Paper. So I'm going to use this one here and I'm also using the stitched um, rectangles um, dies so I'm going to be using this one here and this one here but I'll be using these. I've already pre-cut all my most of my things so um, I will get started and show you what I've done so I don't need those like I said I've already pre-cut so I've decided I'm going to use um, Bumblebee um, base and I'm going to, um, so I'm going to use white insert. So I'm going to actually do an insert um, with the white. This is a scrap piece. That's a scrap piece. And these pieces here, this is in Misty Moonlight. So I've got three pieces of those. And like, like I said, these are the designer series paper out of the um, flowers for every season. So, hi Kathy. I've got two Kathy's on here. So, hi Kathy. Oh no, Karen. Hi Karen and hi Kathy and Martha, if I haven't already said hello. So, and anybody else that's watching that, because um, I've got five people watching, but I can only see um, three of you. So, but thanks for joining me, ladies. So, and I've got another little piece here cut already, um, but I may change my mind as I go along. So, like I said, I'll pop all those pieces aside, so I don't need those just yet. But um, I'm a bit of out of action at the moment. I hurt my back, so um, I think it was too much cleaning my craft room. So um, because I've moved it all around, if you haven't already seen on there, all the... Um, and now my phone's going to ring, but I'm going to totally ignore that. So hopefully I might just go shut my door. Sorry about that. Hopefully you won't hear um, anybody. So um, actually, I just got, I can't. Okay, I don't want to. Okay, so. Oh. Hi Jan, how are you? So, is it warm up in um, New South Wales today? It's, we've got an overcast day here today, so um, hopefully you never heard my phone. 
but anyway like I said I'm going to start off this piece here and I'll go through all the bits as I go along so I'm going to cut um, this piece down so I'll just grab my um, so hopefully you can see it all it's all clear today because I have changed the way I um, do everything now so I'm hoping that it's all clear so give me the thumbs up if it's clear ladies so I know that um, it's all good so anyway I'm going to cut this piece so this is just a, um, our normal size um, A4 um, cardstock um, in Bumblebee and I'm going to cut a piece off on the the long side I'm going to cut a piece off um, five and a half so I'm going to cut five and a half off I'll get put that piece aside we don't need that one and I'm going to cut this one down at eight so five and a half the first cut and we're going to turn it around and I'm going to just cut a quarter of an inch off so don't need that piece but you can keep that for the um, all these strippy techniques um, so but I have been keeping a lot of my pieces hi Roz how are you thanks for joining overcast there too it's a beautiful day where you are oh that's good <laughs> so but yeah being in Tasmania you don't we could get all seasons in one day so we could have snow rain hail sunshine um, wind yeah the whole lot so alrighty so what I'm going to do now is I've cut my piece down to eight um, and five and a half so so my first I'm going to score this time so I'm going to score it at two so I put my cutting blade down there so I'm going to score this side at two inches and then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same side on the uh, same score on the other side so I'm going to score it at two on that side so and I don't need that anymore so I may need it I usually say that I don't need it anymore and I end up having to so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold these on the inside and this is what makes our um, our little fold that's probably just a and if you ever find like it's um, a little bit um, just cut a tiny little sliver I might have to do that one so I'm going to grab my little trimmer it's a lot easier to do it with this little one what I'm doing going to do is just cut just a tiny little bit off that one and hopefully it sits flush and it does so that's how you get rid of a little little bit there if it's a bit too flush so alrighty so now I've got that piece there I'm going to pop him aside and I'm not quite sure actually I might do all these bits first and then because I'm not quite sure how I want to assemble my bits when I do it so I'm going on a sly with uh, I'm going on the sly with this one sort of this is it in my head so you're in Florida and it's crazy hot there I reckon I was watching don't know what I was watching the other day but I they said it was really that hot that they were they were what couldn't wait for winter so <laughs> we can't wait for summer so it's been it hasn't been too cold we've had a few mornings that it's been really freezing but um we've had what minus five so but um yeah and i was watching my husband watches a lot of these um shows over in canada and there was one place there i'm sure it was canada but it was minus 97 I don't know if that's right but that'd be freezing so hi Margie how are you thanks for joining so um, what I'm going to do now is like I said I'll leave my stamping till I decide what I want to do there um, for my sentiments but um, I'm going to grab my pieces here and I'll get all these assembled first so actually I've changed my mind. I might, I might do my um, because I want to um, if it doesn't look right, I can redo it again. So what I'm going to do is I've got my stamp for my um, so I'll do all the stamping first. So sorry, ladies, I, I've changed my mind. I just thought I want to get that 
So what I'm going to do is on the inside of here, I'm going to um, stamp happy birthday, you old goat. So I'm just going to stamp that. And I'm just going to do that in, um, so I'm hopefully try to line that up. This is the way that I like to line it up sometimes, is pop it on my, um, my grid. If I'm standing up over it and um, so I hope but I'll, I'll give it a test run before I stamp it to make sure actually I'm gonna I might try it that way and just pop that down and see how straight that is so I think that will do so I've got that one and then I decided that I was gonna have um, I've got these pieces here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do these, but um, um, not quite sure how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to pop all these up on some little um, blocks and um, we'll see how I go. So get the backings off these. I should have had all these. Like I said, I'm going on the slide with this one. So hi, Mandy. How are you? Thanks for watching. So, got my sister-in-law on here watching today, so and hopefully my husband doesn't come in um, while I'm doing a live. I told him I was doing one at 11.30, so hopefully he stays away. And I think that's the one that I wanted. Yeah, so I didn't need that one, so I'll pop the lid back on there. So, I've decided I'm going to use, um, I got you a cake. But I ate it, and on the inside, I want to have happy birthday, your old goat. So, on the inside here, I'm, so like I said, this is me just putting this all together. I made that one, and I decided I wanted to do. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to stamp this one off, and I didn't have, haven't got a scrap piece of paper here with me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try it on the grid and see if it works, and see. And I'm pretty happy with how that goes there. So I'm going to try to center this in the center the best I can. Get rid of that over there. So I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to try and get it into the center. So I'm lining it up with the... And I'm quite happy with that. So I'll put that aside. So that'll sit in there. So the goat is so cute and funny. It is. So I... I um, haven't used it yet, so I thought, well, I'll try it in this one and see how I go. So, um, but yeah, so anyway, I've got that piece there. So I'm not quite sure whether I want to have it on here or actually I might, I'm thinking about popping them on this color. It could be like different, but I'm going to, um, just going to try. So I'm going to stamp that one and just going to stamp this one on here that one there and um and then when i've done that i'll pop that one over there what am i doing i'm going to pop this one over on this side because i'm thinking i might um cut these ones out um again oh, i did that wrong. so i'll pop them aside and I'm going to, I'm, I thought I might try it on this one as well. So I'm going to try and put it so I get that straight. So here goes nothing. And he's sideways. He's okay. And then I was, so I was going to have them both on the same piece. But I'll just see how that one goes and whether I like it or not. So, but anyway, I've got all those pieces there. And so I'm going to pop this one on the inside. So, and pop a bit of glue on that. I'd like to just get the inside on first. I could change my mind and do it a different, completely different. So, I might have to. So I'm going to pop that on the inside and this piece is um, 
because when the card's closed it's actually four by um four by um five and a half so the center piece is actually three and three quarters by five and a quarter so i could have went down a little bit more but it's okay so that's the inside so that'll, that'll go on the inside so now i'm going to start assembling all these pieces here and so I'll pop a bit of glue on those and so has anybody else used um, this stamp set, the old goat, or way to goat, should I say? So all I'm doing is popping these up on top of the um, rectangles. So just like, I quite like, and these are the um, new in colours, the um, Misty Moonlight and the Bumblebee. So, and um, this is part of the, these are the, all the in colours, the, um, flowers for every season too so it's got um misty moonlight bumblebee just jade magenta madness and uh, cinnamon cider so oh i remembered them all today so that's what all these colors have got in them so so that's that one and i'll grab this one and do this one as well. So, and I'm going to pop that there and there. Now I've got all those ones down. Once I've got all those, um, then it's just a matter of um, popping them all on. So, yeah. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out whether I want them because this one here I've, I've got it opening this side so all it does is you slip that in there and shut that so um, I'm going to work out whether I want this one on this side so I'm thinking I might go the opposite side this time um, I'm not quite sure whether I so I'm deciding I'm going to go the opposite side so I'm going to have this little flap stuck on this side so I'm going to pop a bit of glue on that side there so just a little bit and then I pick it up and all I do is I line it up so it's level either side and once I've got it uh, up there so it's leaving just a tiny little bit of border and then I just make sure that I haven't got any peeking through and then I just glue that down and it probably could have went up I oh, know he's fine it's just the way I had the so now you've got that side on there and we're going to do the same on the bottom so we're going to i like to line up the bottom pieces first um, so then i know that i'm going to have even on the inside so once you get it down to um, work it where you want it and then just make sure that none sneaks through there and I was lucky there wasn't so once you've got those pieces you've got your top and your bottom then this piece here is going to be glued on this side and it's going to sit on this so you're going to be gluing this side so we've just glued both these down on this flap so this piece here is going to be glued on this side so when you open it up this one opens up and so we'll do that we'll pop a bit of glue on there and I find just putting a little bit there anyway. So then all you do is close your card and you line that up with the top and the bottom to um, where you want it with the nice distance in between them. And then you just rub that down. Oh, and I'll just slip mine around a little bit. And um, there you go. So that's your, your card how you open it and close so that's your fun fold isn't that cute so hi Anne how are you you received my beautiful kit to... oh that's good so I hope you enjoy it so have a bit of fun with it so I sent out the other day I went down to the post office and I had no word of a lie I had I think it was 15 letters 
that I posted out to um, all these things that I had plus swaps that I'm doing and then I went back again with another um, I think it was another nine or ten so yeah they love seeing me come because the they think oh more stamps for this lady so so there you go so that's my fold that I've done so far so I'm gonna pop that I'm not quite sure whether I want to have what I might do now is but I I'm thinking I might pop um, not quite sure what I want to do now I'm not going to use that one because I was thinking I might um, oh and I forgot to stamp my um, my little I'm using this goat here because it's just the right size to sit on um, my card so I'm going to grab this piece here I forgot to do my pop the glitter on my glue and this is me winging it a bit <laughs> I don't normally wing cards I normally have a card in mine and I make it and so I'm just going to pop that into the middle and um, I'm going to grab um, some of my, um, I'm thinking about, I might colour him in a, just a light crumb cake. So, so I'm just going to do him in a light crumb cake. Um, I'm not quite sure what, what colour goats are, but um, this is just going to be a quick, quick colour. So goats can be brown, can't they? Well, sort of like a, a crumb cake colour. So thing is I like with the um with the blends you can color in pretty quickly and um it doesn't um leave that line so if you wanted to you can go around um but I just want to give it a quick like I'm a quick colorer in I love my um if anyone's seen my videos before I like to use um the, the watercolor pencils and my Winker Stella I lost my Winker Stella and I couldn't find it. I had a brand new one in a pack and I couldn't find it. And I searched and searched and it was sitting right in front of me for days. And I was quite annoyed that I didn't look in there. But um, anyway, I did find it. So, But I'm going to spruce this one up a little bit. So the person I've got in mind for this one likes to wear um she likes to wear a lot of um eyeshadows so i'm just thought well this is what i'm just gonna it might look dorky but um she'll she'd totally understand when she um seen it so and all i'm doing is giving it a quick color like i'm not really being too fussy with it so and then I'm going to grab my dark one. Actually, that was my dark one, I think. <laughs> so, actually, I might um, try. What have I got here? Um, I might use the dark smoky slate just to do the legs and just see what. Um... Okay. I think it, there is legs at the back too, or her legs. So, okay. And I'm going to do the horns the same color. So I'm just going to use the smoky slate for the horns. So and I'm leaving, I'm going to leave her face white. So, or her face. So I am thinking about going, oh, what color is that one? Rococo Rose. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go the light misty moonlight. And just see what color um, goats are all colors. So you haven't used yours yet, Anne. So and you're receiving, you've received your car kit too. I right, see. I I couldn't remember who I'd sent car kits out. So you'll post a pic when you finish. So that'd be good. I hope you enjoyed um, playing around with that one. So um, goats come in many colors. Crumb cake is fine. Oh, thank you. I just seen your picture of your goat there. So I'm going to do her eyelids in um, the smoky, uh, the misty moonlight. So so 
so there so I'm I'm just going to leave it at that I think or do I actually I might color her in the light um light crumb cake this time and just see what it looks like yeah I think that's better so I just don't, didn't want a darker face um, with the okay there you go so that's that's my um, my goat so I forgot to grab my my punch I'll just quickly grab that lucky I can run straight to get it now so I've decided I'm going to use the um, label me lovely punch and um, I thought I'd punch that out um, so where I sort of punch it into the center of that one so that's what I'm going to use there so that was just that that punch there the love um, label me lovely so I'll pop him over there so what I was thinking is because I wanted um, that I was thinking about having that there um, but because I've got it on the wrong side I was thinking about but I ate like having but yeah I don't know what I was thinking now so what I might do is I might cut these out with the so that pe that one's going to go there so I'm going to sit her there so she's just going to sit on there and I was thinking about having yeah I'm not quite sure I might have I got you cake and then down here but I ate it so what do you think I'm thinking about that so I'll try it with the yellow ones that of the bumblebee I'll cut those out with the smallest one and we'll have a go so I'm trying to find my and I'm lucky I've got my big shot right beside me so we can play around with um, with that so I'm gonna pop him to the side I'm actually on a desk now that I can bring my big shot in now and I know it's not gonna um, wobble the desk because my desk is that quite solid so and I don't think that piece will fit through so I might have to just snip a little bit of that off um, with my I'll just cut that little piece off there I don't need that big of a piece so what I thought I might do is going to use the tiny little one and um, so I'm just going to cut cut this piece here off you get, yeah I'm going to separate the words Margie I thought um, I like to split them I was just having one of those um, like grey moments <laughs> so so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run that through and I'm just going to see what it's like on the other and if it doesn't look good on the bumblebee I will um, change my mind so that's that piece there and I'm going to grab the other one I don't know if I'll get that I won't so I'm going to grab my the next size down and I'm going to pop that up there I'm just going to see how that one looks and if that doesn't look any good I will try it again and hopefully that um, that you could do it in any color so this is just me having a play I can always shorten this down anyway I'll show you how to um, do that so so I've decided I'm going to pop that there and we're going to see how that goes I'll leave that all in there just in case and I'll get rid of that for a minute I'm over there it's nice having everything at my fingertips so I'm thinking about having her there and um, I don't know whether I was thinking like that and having that down there so what do you think ladies that's what I was thinking of doing um, so what do you think 
or do you think I should have have that there and um, that up there so you I got you cake up the top I think it's just too plain if I have it up there so I'm thinking I might have that just like that and not have anything up the top so you think that that looks good that was what was in my mind at the beginning um, but um, all right we'll go with that then so okay I'm just gonna have a quick drink of my coffee okay we're going to go with that so um all righty so now i'm going to pop her up on um dimensions so but before i do that i'm going to pop that one down in the middle so i'm going to glue these two on so grab my glue so i'm quite enjoying you like it in the middle i like I like it under the goat oh yeah that's how I'm gonna do it so in the middle under the goat so I'm just going to glue this um, down into the center of there so and I think these colors um, just go nicely together I'm just taking what colors are in the um, the like the background of the designer series paper so and i'm going to add some bling so i know where i might add some bling anyway so i'll pop this one down here so pop him down there I, like i was going to say i've quite enjoyed um doing my live video again so i'm feeling more relaxed these days so but um, like I said, my back's been pretty sore. I think I overdone it with my craft room, but I'm glad that I did it now because my craft room is, yeah, everything's um, where I can find it now. Like a few things, I'm still going to the same spot to try to get it, but um, the DSP pack is so lovely and versatile. It is, Roz, very, I just, I love well i do love the sunflowers so i don't know you've probably seen i've gone mad with the sunflowers so and then i was thinking did i want to put um a little bit of color behind that but i think i might just stick with just the white or i could uh, could probably even ink up the, around the outsides with um but i might just leave that so i think i don't want to do too much so so I'm going to grab my um, dimensionals so I'm just going to pop just a couple and I'm going to work out where I want to so I don't go so if I stick with in this part here so I'm just going to pop one there and one there and this is sort of makes it a, a little closure um, for your card as well so it seems to hold it down so I might have to stand up um, a little bit, stand it up and just have a look to see where I'm going. And I think I might would like to see a little bit of that there. So I'm just lining it up to where I think. And see, it, it, it sort of gives it that, helps it have that bit of a closure too. And if you're like really um push it down but i quite like um that i'll make i'll pick those up in a minute i so that's what i've done so far and then i've thought about using my um my oh, i can't think what they're called at the moment it's the in colors um i think they're Actually, I'll have a look. I've got another packet in here. Don't want to be telling you the wrong thing. So they're called. Actually, I can't find my packet in there now. Oh, they run away. Okay. Well, I can't tell you what they're called because I, I did have a pack in there and they've disappeared. So, but anyway, they're the new in color um little dots. I'll have all the um bits and pieces on the so 
you just got back from the chiropractor yeah I know it's I haven't been working at all so um but I think yeah like I said I just overdone it so what I was thinking about doing is popping um like a couple up there in the flowers um so I'm going to use the um a few different ones I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and I'm going to use the um cinnamon cider I'm thinking about popping just one inside of that flower there and I might grab another one and pop that on inside of that flower so it sort of gives that so it's not so um like boring up there and then I thought I might use the misty moonlight and just pop a couple there like that and I'm thinking about I might just go one more and actually I might just use the um, I'm going to use the um, just jade and I might just pop one oh one there so there you go so that's my quick little card today my quick fun fold card um, so I hope you um, enjoyed that like I said this is the first one I made um, I'm closing back up so that was the first one I made and um, I quite like it with the um, you could use anything so and all it does is like that one lifts up so oh hang on actually and it you could have made it a little bit smaller but um, all you do is pop those those ones in first and then shut it so once you work out how to um but I thought it was a pretty pretty fun a quick and easy fun fold card and so and it goes together and it just stands up just like that so um thank you enamel dot so I was going to say that but I thought no I'll probably say something wrong so but thank you for um for liking it and um if you like um this video um, and you enjoyed watching the live please subs um, subscribe well if you watch it back on um, YouTube because I'll be popping it on there please subscribe to my channel so you can see um, a lot more um, from me um, but if you haven't liked my page um, that you're watching from today um, please uh, click on the bell and be notified for when I go live again so but um, yeah so Hope you enjoyed it and um, thank you for joining me and until next time I'll catch you very soon. I'm coming back on to popping a, another quick video on today showing um, one of the cards that I showed yesterday on my um, page. So so watch out for that little um, video that I'll, I'll pop up on my page. So, but Alrighty then, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Bye.